In some cases, you want to reduce amount of details that skin provide. For example, if you want to create a um, kind of like plastic, unnatural uh, look of the skin by reducing details of the skin, or for example, um, you think it's maybe will look a little bit too gringy on a poster or other things. So right here, let's look on some techniques. It's very simple techniques, but it's healthy to actually create more plastic or more kind of clean look on the skin. And uh, in some cases, it's called as digital Botox of the skin. So let's look on a couple ways. We're going to create um, several layers. So I'm going to duplicate them. Okay, let's disable first one and let's look on these techniques and you probably know some of this, but I want to also compare and show which one is better. So let's call first blur. Many times when you need to reduce details, the easiest way is just use it blur. So we're going blur and we can use a garden blur, which will blur to all image. Or we can actually, if you're using blur in this case, you probably want to use it surface blur. In this case, you will preserve some of these details that is a hair or other one. So we can go kind of pop up. But I know it's right here, skin have maybe slightly problems. Okay, but we'll go click OK. So and right here we have our surface blur. So the other ways you also can do it's by going and using the filter noise and we can just reduce noise. So reducing noise, it will take like we can see in the square and it's kind of reducing some of these options. Um, currently what I used for this, we can have it string 10. So you can try to even type higher string. So this will come back to the 10 and we can take preserve details to the zero. So we don't preserve anything reduce colors to the hundred and sharpness to zero. So you can see it does kind of reduce slightly. And again, because this is high resolution image, you don't see that different. This reduced noise will work better if it's a low resolution image. Again, we can go ahead and create one like this. Okay, let's go call this noise reduction. Okay, and let's go next one. What I want to do, this is um, what I use mostly. I use that techniques for this. We'll go filter noise, and I'm just using dust and scratches. And the dust and scratches, what I want to do, I want to take threshold, put it all the way to the zero, and bring radius high enough so I can see kind of like almost blur, but notice right here we have it some areas that are a little bit more highlighted, so more isolated. So then I'll bring a little bit closer as when I see the skin kind of have a general shape, but all small details is gone. Let's go click that one. And we call this dust. Okay, you know what, as simple we're doing, let's go this, just call surface blur. And this one will be just blur. Blur, blur, so we can compare them. Okay, so right here we can see this is normal Gaussian blur. Surface blur, we have it some details right in area pop up, but problem is some of the skins start coming up. Okay, we have it just a reduction of the noise. It's, uh, it does affecting, and you can see right here on the skin, reducing some of those, but it's not um, strong enough sometimes effect. And of course, dust scratches right kind of apply a little bit better. Okay, right here, I'm going from this point using dust and scratches. If you want to use it on any other ones, it will be same steps. So we'll go dust, we'll go click and create the mask for this. And now what I want to do, I want to take this mask and actually fill up with the black color. So this is that uh, what we did, the dust is become totally invisible for this. Next, we can take our brush tool and I'm going to just going to use it brush soft edges and we'll just go use it opacity 30 just for purpose of this tutorial you want to use it probably 10 or even softer it will flow 100 percent and you can see i can start painting nice things about this that we can come closer and just paint closer to the edge okay it's first probably what i'm going to do 
And you can see we're already kind of reducing some of those details. We're kind of removing effect from the skin. Okay, so let's go remove right here. All what it does is just reduce those noise, those details. Just leave it clean up, kind of. Um, these techniques is I used almost all the time when creating the posters, like for the movies or other things, because I want to actually reduce some of details in the poster so it does not look too messy, kind of. Okay, right here, and I'm just going very fast for purpose of tutorial so you can see effect. Right here, we can do more. Okay, let's touch up slightly on the hands. One preserve tattoo, so I'm just touching. Okay, right here we have our mask. Okay, I can see on the mask, I can touch up a few places. Okay, maybe right here. There you go. And you can see we also add almost look like plastic here. The nice thing is about this, you can always create a layer, okay, like duplicate it if you need it, and switch to the screen mode, which you can see highlight quite a bit this. So you can combine and create a little bit more effect with the screen mode. And again, you can create it nice um, kind of plastic almost it's first of the step before we add more specular lights and other ones to create truly plasticky look but you can see this way reduction of the some of the details that actually can benefit or create more creepy image in this case um, but it is kind of like look almost digital botox reducing some of those small um, wrinkles in an easy way again you can use it you feel opacity two of the sliders so you can set which how much you want of this applied maybe around this area okay same techniques actually work you can use it for another reason for example if you have some darker image or bright and for some reason you maybe have like a noise right here you can see digital noise introduction or maybe like in a dark areas so you can do same thing we can create a new layer Okay, let's go to rasterize this layer for the purpose of this and i'm going to filter we'll go to noise same things dust and scratches and it's holding about the same we can take a little bit down even okay so run right here let's go to clip this below we'll go create mask fill up mask with a black color and in this case we can same go inside and you can see right here when we need it we can paint out some of this reduce this digital noise that introduces some in dark areas or color so it is um nice techniques be careful when you use it for example if we're using it like on the lines you'll notice that suit have white lines not start kind of disappearing so we want to probably bring in some other but overall right here you can see with these techniques we're kind of reducing the digital noise again before and after you can see it's and look much cleaner when we zoom out so we won't be that close you can see again remember any blur any of this tool will reduce details so like right here you can see it does reduce some details so be careful or be more accurate in a place where you use so if you want to prevent we can pop up back here add a little bit details the overall okay here is just short tutorial but kind of help uh, share with you some techniques so you can create a little bit more smoother kind of plasticky cleaner skin and reduce some noise with very few simple steps